I will start uh, with a new concept of electrostatic field energy. And so far, in previous chapters, uh, we have defined some quantities uh, which is related to the uh, energy. And one of them was the potential. And if you multiply the potential difference of two points by charge Q, you express, you find the potential energy difference of any charge from going from one point to another. Uh, so we have defined electrostatic potential energies of uh, point charges. But the question is, what if in some region of space you don't have any charges but field, the electric field? How do you then uh, express the energy of that region in terms of the electric field? So I will start... <coughs> by creating this uniform electric field between two charged planes. Remember, uh, we have uh, seen these two charged planes, uniformly charged planes. One is Q, the other is minus Q. And between two plates, which has a distance H, the electric field is just a constant, uh, the charge density sigma divided by epsilon zero, right? You remember this, you have calculated this before by using Gauss's law. And what if I move one of the plates in the upper direction uh, a distance x, right? What happens? Do, you, do I have to do work for this? Suppose this configuration is in outer space, there is no gravity, nothing, and you just move one of the plates a distance x away from uh, the other one, then do you have to do some work? Yes. So what you do, in fact, before I answer this, in fact, you create a, an additional electric field, this additional space, x times h, whatever, right? Uh, previously, this space of the, the this uh, region of the space previously had no electric field, but you have just created a new electric field at that point, right? So if I can express the energy I spent to move this plane to a new configuration, then this energy... Uh, should be uh, expressed in terms of the electric field of this region, right? So this is the idea that how can I relate the electric field by energy, right? If you do this, you enlarge the space, the volume between two planes, you don't change the strength of the electric field. The electric field strength is the same, sigma divided by epsilon zero, because there is no any distance uh, expression on the electric field, right? It's just a constant. It's a constant, same uh, electric field. But you create an additional uh, electric field in an additional space, in an additional uh, region of space. So let's then uh, first express the work I have to do this moment of the plane. So I have to <coughs> move this plane by applying a force, right? I have to express this force in terms of the electrostatic forces between these two planes, because planes are uh, oppositely charged and they are attracting each other, right? If I move them, one of them, away from each other, and I have to uh, overcome the force, electrostatic attraction force between them. So if I move this a distance x, then the work done is not zero. The force applied by me times the x is the total work done, right? And this force is constant because the electric field is not changing, right? If you have a charge Q in some region of space, and this region of space has a constant electric field, then this charge will experience if you feel a constant electric force all the time. So the force is constant. What about the force in terms of uh, this field, electrostatic field? If you look at very carefully the one of the plates, okay, let's pick up these positively charged plates. This plate is a metal plate, and it has no a zero thickness. It has some finite thickness, right? In microscopic uh, uh, picture, 
It has some thickness. It's like a slab of metal, right? It has thickness. But we know that the charge is always on the surface of a metal, right? If it has a finite thickness, then the charge, this plus charge, must be on its down surface, right? And this is extra charge, by the way. So there is no charge, nothing on the upper surface. And I know that the electric field inside this slab of metal is equal to zero, right? Because inside any metal in electrostatic, the electric field is always, always zero. No exception, okay? The electric field on in inside metals is always zero. So the electric field is zero in, in, in this side. You can see that, right? Okay. Can oradakiler görüyor mu tatlıyı? İyi. Gerçi bu tarafa da bakmıyorlar ya. Bazen küçük yazıyorum da. So the electric field on, on one side of this charge distribution, on the top of this charge distribution is zero. But on the bottom of this charge distribution, the surface charge distribution, the electric field is non-zero. It's sigma divided by epsilon zero. So if I move a charge inside an electric field, and I will feel electrostatic force, just the charge times the electric field. But the thing in here, that this charge, only one phase sees the electric field, other phase do not see any, any, any non-zero electric field. Electric field is zero on the other side. If this charge, Q, were completely inside an electric field on the both the bottom part and the upper part has the same electric field, then I would say that the electric force on this charge will be just Q times the electric field, Q times E, electric field. But since only one side sees the electric field and the other side there is no electric field, then I can say that the force of this charge Q, the total charge Q, experiences just half of Q times E. Is that a logical reasoning for you? If yes, okay. Um, so by reasoning, I can say that the force, at least uh, I have to apply, is just the charge Q times this electric field E, which is sigma divided by epsilon zero, divided by two. So I apply this force, a distance x, because I move the plane, a distance x, then the total work I can find by multiplying this force times again, the force is Q times E divided by two times x. So let's do this. So the force is not equal to Q times E, but it is equal to Q di times E divided by 2 because the face, only one face sees the electric field. The other face is just, there is no electric field. And the, of course the total work is just one, one half Q times E times X. So the work required to create an additional electric field in that region of space or the energy required to create this additional electric field in that space. A volume X times A. A is the surface area of the uh, plate, right? So inside a volume, I create an electric field, which has sigma divided by epsilon zero strength. Then the energy I have to uh, spend for this is this quantity. Well, can I express this work just in terms of electric field strength, not charge Q, but electric field strength. So how, how can I express this Q in terms of electric field? Well, this charge Q and sigma has a relation between them. Q is equal to sigma times A. And I know that sigma is also equal to the strength of the electric field times epsilon zero. So I can express this Q in terms of electric field, right? And in terms of electric field, this Q is sigma times A 
uh, divided by epsilon zero, right? Uh, sorry. Instead of Q, I can write down sigma times A because the sigma is the surface charge density. If I multiply this by area, I have the uh, uh, charge. And in addition, I multiply this expression by epsilon zero and divide by epsilon zero. Nothing changed, right? But I know that sigma divided by epsilon zero is E. So I can replace this by E, and we have mar one more additional E inside. So in, at the end, we have this one half epsilon zero E squared times A, the area of the one of the plates, times X, where X is the uh, distance that I move this upper plane. So if you see this A times X as the volume, because A is the area of the plate, and X is the height, the X times area, then the volume of the region space that I created electric field, right? So this work divided by the volume can be expressed in terms of only electric field. E squared divided by two times epsilon zero. So I can, in fact, divide this work by the volume to find the energy density of this electric field. And this is just this quantity, one half epsilon zero E squared is the energy or joules per unit volume or meter cube, which is uh, inside this region of space where we have a non-zero electric field which is equal to sigma divided by epsilon zero. So if, if you only look at a region of space, and if this region of space has some electric field, then it has energy, okay? Any region of space which has non-zero electric field has electrostatic energy. Apart from any uh, charges or nothing, if you have electric field in some region of space, then you can easily express the electrostatic energy just in terms of the strength of the electric field. All right, so <coughs> uh, since this is the energy density per unit volume, to find the total energy of any region of space which has some electric field which is also not uh, constant, even the electric field is not constant in some region of space, you can calculate the total energy of that region of space by taking this integration, okay? Because the energy density is just this one half epsilon zero e square, and if you multiply this by volume and take the integral of the region or of the space that you are interested, you will find the total electrostatic energy at that volume. 